Thursday morning. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. San Gabriel. Pasadena. San Marino. Good morning. Yes, I am eating Einstein bagels. And I'm eating pretty fast. You know, I don't say much. I really don't say much. But I do like doing YouTube. And I'm not really a talker talker a lot, but I can talk a lot. But, to, but, but certain things around. I do like to talk about. Maybe this will be a one time thing. Garden of life, nothing's guaranteed to you. I'm close to the anniversary of when I first got sick, when I first went into the hospital. Pretty close to the time, I think the third week after I checked the date. This time last year. And sometimes I think about, like I just said, nothing's guaranteed. Uh, and I look at all the things that's going on, what all kind of stupid and craziness is going on and everything. And then I walk by this garden this medicinal garden that I talked about in a video some time ago, this new walk path. And I was talking about how they were preparing it. And then right after that, they started preparing it, like real quick. Like this one is comestibles, I guess, food and medicine. It's always been linked in Chinese conception. So we're in the Chinese garden, but this is the medicinal, or should I say the herb garden. I call it the medicinal garden. <laughs> but you can see all these different things here. They even got, they even got imported medicines here. But I take a vitamin each day. I go to the vitamin shop. I get most of my vitamins there. And I do have supplements to make different malt shakes and everything. So I always try to keep myself fit, even though I don't work out a lot. I don't work out a lot because I work a lot. And I can't get up early enough to do the work at the gym, then come to work myself. <laughs> so when I see all those crazy things on YouTube about body counts and all this other kind of stuff, it is amazing that some of us are, are still alive. It depends on the health. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete or not. It doesn't matter if you're more physically fit than most. There's no guarantee, still. But still, I wonder often, what the hell are these people about? There are a lot of diseases going on around here. And if I'm a square because I don't, or I am not the body count person, <laughs> I don't have to tell you about no body count. But when I hear stuff like that, I think that's always into consideration. They can talk about it as much as they want. The body count don't mean a damn thing. One thing it means is you might catch a disease and you might not. And then again, you don't have to catch anything. 
I mean, people make a mockery of themselves, make a mockery of other people, use other people to get close to other people who are not very good. Or if they are good, they're phony. So I think all those things into consideration depends on what type of health you got. Like I said, you can be the most fit person around, but yet you still get sick. So yeah, I've been into the physical fit thing for a long time. You don't have to be the most perfect athlete that I said before, but you, but you would be a conscious person of what's going on in your surroundings and what type of people you want to be around. And sometimes you think you pe pick the right person and it's not the right person. Sometimes you think you pick the wrong person, but it's the right person. But whatever you do in your life, I think sometimes it comes back around. I don't care what you do. The garden of life can lead to death and vice versa. Sometimes I think I don't want to put out these videos, but I do. And like I said, this is probably a one-time thing. I don't like to be preaching. I just like to talk about what's in my life and what I see when I watch TV and be maybe one-tenth of one percent in real life of what I've been through, but it's not nothing to talk talk about it because what I see is much more amplified in lifestyles that I could never even be a part of. But it always gets you to think about what you went through in your own personal self. I got a couple of vacations coming up this year, 2024. So my spouse has already have her vacation lined up. So all I gotta do is put in my vacations. I know I got there, uh, a couple of week vacations and a two week vacation. A two week vacation be toward the end of the year. So hopefully I have enough time to put in so we can take these vacations. Don't know where I wanna go exactly I definitely want to go on another cruise and probably just fly somewhere back or do another drive but it might be something simple and of course it might be something same old same old but you know what you get a lot out of life doing the same old same old because that's the way it is in life same old same old but the same old same old I want to be good. This is Robin Deschamps. I don't talk about everything I eat and I don't talk about everything about me personally. But you can bet on it. It's nothing like what I see in life from other people much younger than me. I'll see you in my next video, folks. Talk to you later and have a great day. Thursday.